we just did a show recently on the great, it's called the great resignation, that women in particular are not returning to work. Something like 1.8 million women who have just, they're not coming back right now. And examining that is what you were talking about, that year's sabbatical, that ability to step back, to work from home. Uh, we got uh, listener comments from women who had been, you know, gone to work the minute their babies were three months old and are suddenly, you know, were at home and saying, wow, this is fantastic. If I can work from home or arrange my schedule, I will be much happier. So I think it's been, on an upside, a great moment to reassess our our work, our careers, our, our lives. And, and this is at all levels. It's not just a luxury, you know, women executives. Um, it was a service industry. You know, they're not going to come back necessarily for the crappy wages that they had. So I, I think there is a, an upside will be maybe a whole reckoning with the way we live our lives, the way we work, you know, if 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 we're lucky. And that was something we did on the Femsplainers is that we, Danielle and I are liberated women of the new century. However, we are not hardline feminists and we were able to entertain uh, different points of view. And I also thought a lot of women are going to stay home. And suddenly that hectic, mad lifestyle, mm -hmm. I don't know how people do it. And you, you earn less money, but you also save a lot of money if one person is staying home and has the time to cook or has the time to take care of the house. And I think that we probably will see more re-engagement with traditional roles for well for also we homemaker. all discovered like instacart and things so suddenly that this whole part of your running around day uh it was cut back and we all huddled in our homes and thank god for the people who were out there you know delivering delivering groceries and things but it it so so there there i think are some upsides so long as um we cannot overly politicize this and but speaking of the politi politicization there is an authoritarian streak in people, and this was an occasion for micromanaging the population. And some people will not want to give that up. Someone said the other day, when do you think that we won't have to wear masks in airports? They had a little poll on Twitter, and the winner was never, because that's sort of a place you have people from all over the world. And you just think back, you know, most of us didn't get sick in airports, and it was we were free of mass i'm wondering if now every and, and it could be that the latest variant is an example of this is that anything is now going to trigger this response of shutdowns control and I'm, i just came back from england where uh, boris well he's recently said can you please put your masks back on again because of omicron but basically no one was wearing masks. The life was going they on. They really weren't. They weren't in London either. No, it it it's uh, it was it was felt very much normal. Except as soon as I got there, I had to take a test and send it in. Before I could get back into the U.S., I had to get a test to let me back in, regardless of my vaccination status. And there was something about that that just kind of slightly. I know it's reasonable, but it was like so. I might not be able to get home. I might be stranded in another country because. I just caught a virus. Now, I understand the reason behind that, but I'm just talking about the emotions here. Now, at the very beginning, I was a bit carony. I was like, I was scared. I didn't know what this virus was. Hey. I knew that my lungs are shitty. I knew I have a mini compromise. And people were running. I remember whether you remember this, but people were jogging past me and breathing in my face. Turns out I shouldn't have been worried, but I was kind of. A of course, little carony. We we're all know. a little boss. But hey, then. Hey, hey I, I'm at my inner goddess is a Karen. So. Watch what what, she, okay. watch what you say about Karens. 